Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Brent from I'mTalkingGames.com, and we're going to play a little Battlefield Bad Company 2, um, playing my engineer in uh, rush mode, favorite mode so far of uh, the game to play, with an objective to either charge and capture some points, or the other team, uh, depending on which side you're on, has to defend the points and stop you from taking them. And I'm playing uh, an engineer build for the moment with... Uh, extra rocket rounds in my build and uh, armor and oh crap there's already I'm joining kinda late the charge has already been set this is the very beginning these are the first two points but um, I'm just joining a little late so all the environments is uh, you may have heard are completely destructible so um, s being in one of these buildings is, pr is can be pretty risky especially if you're by walls you see the big holes blown in it and the f what did I just fall through the stairs I did well, anyway, okay, not that time. There are two objectives, uh, Alpha and uh, uh, Bravo. I forget what it's called. Something with a B. And oh, God, die, you bastard. Okay, got him with the knife and got the dog tags. But I'm blooded as hell. He almost killed me. If somebody sneezes on me, I'm going to fall over dead. I need a medic. If I can find a medic, I'll be good. You know, if you can barely hear the sounds, I've turned it down. But uh, the sounds, you, your ears get really muffled when they're explosions. Crap, the wall just got blown out, and someone's setting a charge. Get. Oh, that bastard jumped out of the wall. Oh, yeah, I know. It wasn't going to take much for me to die. Well, this point might be gone. Doesn't look like we have a lot of help there. Oh, somebody. Somebody bombed it. So now I'm just trying to find a squad mate to spawn back in on and uh, run in there. And I did. And he's getting attacked. I'm lucky I didn't get knifed right there. That's rather the. Uh, the US 282, whatever the name of the shotgun is, the automatic shotgun, rocks. Point blank range, you just you just destroy people with it. And I like to use uh, my shotgun in close, and then the uh, the Carl something or other rocket cannon, and you know, here, look at range, I can just blast people. It's kind of cheese, it's, a, it's the equivalent of uh, Modern Warfare 2's uh, noob tube, to some extent. There you go, there's another one bites the dust. So my plan is just to hang out behind this rock and, uh, you know, they're rushing towards the points um, and just to try to ambush them as they run by because I've taken both. I see a bunch of them running in the hills behind me there. And people are spotting, which is good. It, basically, in, on the on the PC, if you uh, by default, it's the Q button. So if you see someone, you just press Q. It puts a little orange marker over their head and it announces that you've seen them. Oh, crap. All right. No, just ran across the unluckily ran across this guy's face and got knifed. So now when you respawn, you respawn back at the the next two uh base objectives in the in the series of uh three of them I think there are, once the first two have been taken. And I'm immediately taking heat on spawning in here. And like a newbie I shoot my own medic. Good thing he's a medic. He'll heal up from that. But uh you 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 know, you can get a little you can get a little antsy and uh Sometimes that happens. And, yep. Awesome. Completely blindsided by Dick Sniper. I hate snipers. Okay, well, my bad for not looking around enough. But, uh, anyway, what I was trying to do was kind of go out and flank. And kind of catch behind the guys as they catch the guys uh, rushing in as they try to capture the point. And you can get a lot of good kills by coming in behind them. But now I'm going back and I'm just going to... Uh, come over here and start trouble with the guys that I know are down here since they just killed me. I don't know what they're doing because there's really no way to the objective from there. Let's see if I can get a kill. Oh, yeah, bad for him. He ran right into the shotgun. And I'm at, a, I'm at a bad range for the shotgun right now. Yeah, couldn't have hurt that guy. And somehow he miraculously lives through the grenade toss. Awesome. And he's a medic, so he brings everybody back to life. I killed the wrong guy. Awesome. So this is the the squad screen. You, you can see possible two, four, six possible squads. What I like to do is always try to make sure I'm in a full squad. That way I have more respawn options. And because uh, what really sucks is when your whole squad is dead and you really you have to start. You have to you have no choice but to spawn at the very beginning of the the rush objectives. Kind of hear some static happening behind me right here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, medic finished him off. I didn't get any any points for that. So what I'm going to try to do is hunt around and see if I can flank and then, well, 
they're all over our point right now, so maybe I should be defending that. Yeah, we just to all right, we're disarmed and good. Ah, yes, picked one off through the trees. It's almost like a very loud and explosive sniper when you do this. Now they've set a charge at the other point. I'm way too far to do anything about that. But I'll see if I can run behind him and flank, maybe. Sounds in this game are awesome. I've never played a first-person shooter. Oh, here we, here we go. We got some guys here. Can I knife this guy? Oh, fail, miss, die! Oh, got him that time. Uh, I'm still alive. I have no idea. They're just uh, this area is so hot. Oh yeah, I'm taking heat right now. Let's see, spin around. Can I get this guy? Oh, fail. Missed with the shotgun too many times. It's the shotgun doesn't do that much damage, but up cl you have to be really close for it to really bring the pain. Anyway, like I was going to say, I've never played a game that it just really gives you the feeling of being in a war. Not that I wouldn't know. That's awesome! Spawn and insta-stabbed in the face. Cool. Okay, uh, we'll spawn again. At least he died, bastard. Anyway, I've never played a game that has got uh, as much realism. I, I don't personally know what it's like to be in a war. Clearly, I'm not in the military and have not been in any kind of war. I'm a, I'm a gamer and a, and a tech nerd. But... If I, you know, from what I've seen on TV and, and, and from what I can imagine real war would be like, this has got to be the closest thing to it. I mean, the sounds are awesome. The, the explosions, like, ring your ears. The, uh, you know, the <laughs> down from the foul language these guys use. I mean, they cuss like they're in the military. Uh, let's see, we got some guys here. I can probably lead this guy and get a kill as he comes out from behind there. Let's see. No, damn it, miss. Fail. How do you miss a gigantic ass rocket explosion? Oh, victory's near. We're holding them off. We're not getting to those points. Oh, I'm going to get this guy. Boom. See ya. Yeah, see, I've got a good. Uh, best thing you can do is get a little point like. A little kind of sniping point like this. And let me see if I can rush it. Oh my god, he just come out of a tree? Yeah, eat some shotgun. There we go. I think he was probably already wounded. That helped. See if I can flank around here and find some guys. There's one. Can I get him? Can I get him? Go down, boy. It's it's good when you can get a kill with the shotgun from that range. Usually I need to have the... <sighs> and they're just like falling out of the sky on me. He probably respawned on one of his teammates and his guy I killed earlier and he knew I was there, so... But we win! I've, I've not been able to tell what the deciding factor is, but if you hold them off long enough, you eventually win. I haven't s noticed any indicators on my UI that like give you a time based on when that happens, but uh, maybe I'm just not noticing. Anyway, at the end of every every uh, rush match, at least you get the you know the stats and you get to uh, unlock your progression and see the dog tags of the people you killed and the awards you got and how many points you got for them. So anyway, that's the end of uh, Rush with the Engineer. At least this uh, episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.